that window's going all the way around in the study. Had a fireplace, everything that I wanted. And when I put in the application, I said, no way. In my mind. But I still moved in faith. But my mind was in a war. My mind was like, ain't no way. She called me that afternoon when I was getting ready to go sign the other lease. I said, what? She said, come on and get this house. The house that I live in now. A beautiful study. I go in there and say, tell the children, keep out. Put a sign, keep out. When I find them in there, what you doing? Ain't nothing in here for you. Ain't nothing in here but books. You don't want no books. Come on, somebody. You got to shoot higher. Somebody say amen. So from that, I was able to keep up. But look at the sacrifice I had to make. I had to move the kids. The church is still in Charlotte. But I know that God is going to send me back. I know that a way is going to be open up for us to go back. Somebody say amen. God's trying to walk you through this so that you can get busy. And stop blaming it on not having money. Yeah. That's right. Favor. Yeah, you got favor. You got more than favor. You got an assignment. Jesus. Do you realize that all the elements have to come into agreement with your assignment? The earth has to agree with you. I showed y'all that yesterday. Lord Jesus, please help him get it. Listen, y'all. He wants you to activate this like right. yesterday, but tomorrow. Yes. Amen. Do you understand that? Amen. There shouldn't be any businesses that come into this area that this church don't know about. That's right. Nobody should give out jobs and the church don't know. That's huh? Amen. Chamber of Commerce meeting. Not the pastor. You should be there. Amen. Meeting and greeting people. Finding out what new programs are they bringing into the community. Hello? It's time to get out of the box, saints. You keep looking at your neighbor to give you a blessing. They ain't got no blessing to give you. The wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. It is the unsaved that have your miracle. Huh? You keep looking at saints. We ain't got it. Not yet. We got about five of them that's really rich. But that ain't God's design. And anytime you want to be something in God, you got to go see one of the five. The devil is a liar. That's right. No, I don't have to be part of your organization to be great in God. Amen. Oh, y'all ought to say amen on that one. Y'all you know them games they be playing. 80, 20, 60, 40 if you want to be something in God because of who I am. No. Listen, y'all please get a hold to this word. God want the women in this area to come out, okay? You need to start having special events. I don't know what y'all been doing, but whatever it is you've been doing, don't do it no more. Do something else. Ask God to give you, we're going to talk about that in a minute, creative power. You need to do something else. You need to have business meetings that you are just strictly coming together and talking about what is going on in this area. And if you don't know enough, you need to connect with some people that can help you get what you need. I'm never ashamed to go to people and ask for what I need. Even if they unsaved. Hello? Amen. Hello? Yeah. The first lady that graced my life was not a Christian. She was a heathen, but she knew how to take care of her business. She was the first one that said, Katrina, you better stop having them babies. Don't you get pregnant again. Why are you working for me? See, I'm not... She was not a Christian that told me that. Don't wear that mess no more. It looks like you a whore. She was not a Christian when she told me that. You need to save your money. You need to go back to school again. She was not saved. Okay, see y'all? Amen. 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 They ain't got clergy on. You can't receive it. Oh, yes, you can. Yes, sir. You got to understand that, everybody. Your whole deposit won't come from Christians. All right, so we talked about business meeting. We talked about you. Uh, okay, now let's talk about change. Okay, the Bible says small fox, small fox is what? Spoil the vine. So if a small fox can spoil the vine, a good small fox can make the vine happy. Am I right? Am I right? Does it work both ways? Sowing and reaping, it'll work both ways. Okay, you need to start with change, small changes. 